Hello, everyone, and welcome to uh, my podcast. Uh, it's David Rhodes here. I'm uh, talking uh, to my phone. Hooray, as always. Uh, it's no Rockies podcast. It's none of that. It's no live cast. It's uh, just a full-blown different thing. Uh, do not have a name actually for it yet. Uh, but if you see this up on your Facebook or your Twitter or even YouTube on like live videos, uh, just why don't you take a listen? I do not have a title for this episode because I'm just going to talk about whatever I feel like it. It's Monday morning or afternoon at this time. It's 1141 and I'm sitting in a party room at my job. I'm not even supposed to work until five o'clock today. Stupidly, I got here at 10 o'clock in the morning and I'm like, hey, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to go watch a couple movies today. I'm probably going to see Don't Breathe for the third time. I'm going to see Kubo and the Two Strings for the second time. Uh, just very excited to watch these again, even though I've already seen them. Uh, Don't Breathe especially is just... I had a lot of fun watching it. And if you actually uh, want to get some great movie reviews, listen to or watch now because it used to be listen, uh, but we're also doing a Twitch thing now. But uh, me and a buddy of mine, Derek, we do a show, little show called uh, Real Film Hour. We do it on Wednesday nights, uh, this Wednesday, uh, because we do not want to watch Morgan, really. We're not really that interested and uh, whatever the hell else comes out. We're not excited to watch them. So uh, bringing in a DVD to watch this Wednesday, we're going to be watching Green Room, which I've already seen. I saw it in theaters. Uh, when it was in theaters, uh, Tinseltown, and I absolutely loved it, and I've watched it a few times. Uh, A24 film, and I got hooked on A24 after I watched Tusk, and then there was Ex Machina, and it just kept going and going, and they, I mean, they got Green Room, they've got Swiss Army Man, I just saw The Lobster, The Lobster is pretty funny, uh, it's weird, but it's pretty funny. Just uh, the whole movie company, or the production company, or whatever. Uh, A24 is a fantastic one to look out for if you want to watch some pretty cool movies. But today is Monday, and what am I going to talk about? Like I said, anything that I feel like, what is on my mind. Uh, well, I just went and freaking went around to the store and just bought a bunch of crap just because a uh, poster frame for my Evil Dead poster that I had, and uh, bought some other stuff, uh, some DVDs, uh, some shows or whatever, some South Park. My God, I almost have every season of South Park on DVD now, but I guess that's okay. Uh, getting ready for that new video game this December. But while I was at GameStop and I was waiting for GameStop to open because I was bringing a game in, I it occurred to me, I'm like, holy shit, tomorrow's Tuesday the 30th. I believe it's the 30th. Yeah. Yeah. But I was like, holy shit, tomorrow is Tuesday, and a buddy of mine, uh, she bought tickets for me and her to go see Yoga Hosers, the uh, premiere party at Tinseltown tomorrow night, and which is a really kick-ass present because we're both huge Kevin Smith fans. Uh, I've been a Kevin Smith fan for years, and I've been preaching the word of Kevin Smith to almost everybody praising every single one of his films and I even got her hooked her hooked on it I was working with her and I told her hey here's Tusk watch Tusk and she loved Tusk so I was like okay here watch Clerks and she watched Clerks and and then from there she watched every Kevin Smith anything and uh, she's become completely obsessed with his work so we're both going to see Kevin Smith the funny thing is I actually got her hooked on Kevin Smith and Star Wars and she got me tickets well, us tickets to go see uh, Yoga Hosers tomorrow, which I've been waiting two years for this freaking movie. I know a lot of people online are uh, tearing it to shreds. IGN just gave it a 3.9 out of 10. But um, it, it's a, an acquired taste, I, I would say, uh, for certain, for, especially with Tusk. A lot of people don't like Tusk, which I'm still a little weirded out by. I understand if you... Like, Tusk is... A fantastic movie, and I've praised it a million times throughout podcasts and posts on Facebook and Twitter, even getting likes from Kevin Smith, so that's pretty kick-ass. Uh, originally, the plan was, uh, the theater where I work, we were, I was setting up a yoga hoser screening where Kevin Smith would come here and do a Q&A session after the movie, 
And pretty much it was just my way of being like, holy shit, I get to meet Kevin Smith. Unfortunately, that did not happen. Uh, some communication things – he commented back, but some things happened and it became a little too late to even have it set up. But thankfully, Tinseltown is just 45 minutes away from where I live. So I and my friend are going up to see it and we're very excited because I've been waiting two years. Ever since they announced that Yoga Hosers was going to be a thing, I think they announced – he announced that Yoga Hosers was going to be a thing right after – I think it was during one of the podcasts, but it was – even before Tusk came out, there was Yoga Hosers talk. And I was already like, OK, kick ass. It's clerks with chicks. And uh, I watched his uh, Hollow Ian, I, I believe that's what it's called, off of the Holidays uh, movie that came out uh, very recently. And it was uh, – if you haven't seen Holidays, it's on Netflix. It, watch it. I, I would say you could skip a couple. Um, I can't remember which one it started off with. Valentine's Day. You could skip Valentine's Day. It's kind of stupid. Um, St. Patrick's Day. That one's really good. It's pretty freaky. Girl uh, pregnant with a snake. She has no idea how it happened. Mother's Day you can skip completely. Father's Day is probably one of the best – short films I have ever seen in my life. It's, I wish it was longer. Uh, the girl from house of the devil, if you've never seen that, uh, she played in it and it was really good. Uh, but then, uh, you have Kevin Smith's, uh, Halloween where, uh, if, I can't remember his name. I don't know his name. In it, his name's Ian, but he played the, uh, guy at the airport, the Canadian in Tusk. Uh, you got your kind of do's and you got your kind of don'ts. Um, he plays, this guy who runs a online uh, cam girl service, and one of the cam girls is Kevin Smith's daughter, Harley, and you got to see a little more of her acting uh, aside from Tusk, because I the only other thing I saw her in was Tusk, because uh, you know that's the first thing that she's ever actually acted in. I mean, she was in Kevin Smith's movies since uh, Jane Silent Bob Strike Back uh, as a baby, and then now she's actually acting, acting, and uh, she's doing a good job, and. In Tusk, it was her part was hilarious with Lily Rose Depp. Uh, both of them are great together, and I cannot wait to see Yoga Hosers because I love the whole convenience store scene with them two and uh, Justin Long and uh, then part with Johnny Depp as Gila Point. Um, but yeah, Yoga Hosers comes out tomorrow, and very excited to see it. I've been waiting way too long for it. The Colleen's get ready to face an ancient evil that rises in Canada uh, once again. Again, oh, wow, again, pulling a little Chris Jericho. Uh, comes out tomorrow, uh, the early advance, I mean, it's like the early party. Not sure if it's going everywhere. Pretty sure it's not going anywhere. Uh, my theater will definitely not get it, unfortunately, because stupidly, we don't get a lot of good things. Uh, a lot of you out there will laugh at that because you're like, hey, you guys are shit, but you know what? I'm a huge Kevin Smith fan. I actually wrote a post today about it. Um, I watched Clerks 2, the making of Clerks 2, on the second disc on the DVD set. And it's weird because you see Kevin Smith discussing after Jersey Girl. And just the way his attitude is. It's like, it's like you know, he's Kevin Smith, but he's not he's, – he's bummed in a way. And Clerks 2, he's all happy about it. But at the same time, he's still got that, you know, bummish attitude and he's going to like – Cannes Film Festival, and he's just completely worried that he's going to get ripped apart the whole time. And it, it's sad seeing him like that because, I, I, you know, it's weird because I got so used to how he is now where he's – I know it's – you know, he smokes pot now, uh, but his attitude's completely changed. He, you know, he does care, but he doesn't care if you, if you like his films or not, his new films or not. He's doing it because he's having a great time doing it and he wants to do it. The dude is incredible and that's the filmmaker that I would want to be like. I mean, I I follow his films completely. I've watched Tusk a million times. I've watched all his movies a million times. But his new attitude and approach on films he has is just incredible. The fact that we're getting – that we got Tusk. We're getting Yoga Hosers, which yes, we didn't ask for it. But guess what? It happened and it's new Kevin Smith stuff. So just shut up and enjoy it. Then we've got Moose Jaws, which is a remake of Jaws, but with a moose in Canada uh, tearing apart a summer camp uh, where uh, I don't want to spoil because I already know what's happening because I've read about it. But just watch it because it'll be the return of Jane Silent Bob, which we haven't seen since Clerks 2, which is like, holy shit. Um, 
And then after that, I believe Mallbrats is happening, and then he's got Clerks 3 uh, somewhere down the line, uh, which I've been ready for Clerks 3 since I watched Clerks 2, and I love every single one of them. I actually just got my fiancé into watching Clerks because I'm like, we've been dating for over five years, and I, I, I've always done like little quotes here and there from both Clerks films, and uh, even I do the the Randall dance, the Randall shuffle dance, and uh, she never, I never, I don't know how, but I never had her watch the films, and then finally I'm like, hey, you want to watch Clerks? And she watched Clerks and liked the first Clerks, and I'm like, all right, let's watch Clerks too, and she really liked Clerks too, so finally got her into those. I mean, we watched Mall Rats and all the other Kevin Smith films. Um, didn't take her to see Tusk in theaters because she was in college, but I watched Tusk six times in theaters. Yoga Hosers, unfortunately, I will not be able to reach that high uh, because, unfortunately, I just know it. My theater's not going to get it because, um, yeah, it's stupid like that. We like to get political things like Hillary's America. Sorry to shit on it, uh, but I'm sick and tired of hearing about politics uh, every single time I pull up a YouTube ad. And, yeah, look at her and her kids are watching this Donald Trump trailer and then vote for Hillary or Hillary Clinton's this man to man. And I'm like, dude, I, I don't give two shits. Can't you see by my, like, my web history that I don't give a fuck about politics? In fact, uh, you can complete – I wish there was like a button or something like – especially on Twitter or Facebook where you can just completely take off everything when someone says anything about politics. You just be like – Fuck off. Uh, no more of that. I don't need it in my life. Um, it's just, it's a downer. People cause, you know, causes arguments. You know, you know what? Why can't people just be like, eh, fuck it, you know? Just, let's just have a good time in life. Uh, talk about bullshit, whatever we want, or movies, whatever we want. Let's just, let's get politics out of the fucking picture because it's, you know, especially coming to theaters, it really bugs me that we can get a movie about whoever it rips on, Hillary or Trump, I just, who gives a fucking shit? Uh, I'd rather have an actual movie that will only be here a week than get a political movie that will be here for a couple weeks because the community are a bunch of old bags. Uh, sorry if you are an old bag out there. Uh, old bag is an old person. Uh, sorry, I have, I have like some bad issues with some old people. Mm, you set me off edge because uh, I'm a youngling, so... But, gosh, I'm getting down to the fucking wire here. Uh, Spreaker, thank you so much for shortening it from 30 minutes down to 15. No, thank you seriously so much. Uh, your services are fantastic, and you've helped me out with my podcasts. I'm getting back on it uh, more and more now, uh, living on my own and having a bunch of fun doing this again, uh, getting into the points of writing scripts more. Uh, actually going to be filming a movie at the movie theater where I work. Holy shit, you know, you get, uh, you have the, uh, opportunity to film in a place of your own work. Oh, Kevin Smith. Um, no, seriously though, I mean, I work in a movie theater. Why not use the opportunity to film here and make a movie? Uh, I'm still trying to figure out exactly which direction I wanted to go. I just decided I wanted to bring it into the horror comedy mix because, uh, I just love both of them together and I can't write something that's straight up scary because I want to put something funny in there and I can't write something that's straight up hilarious because I want to be like, hey, look, somebody's going to fucking get brutally murdered in this part. It's just it's just a weird mixture inside and I, just, I love both horror and I both love comedy. I watch horror movies by day and I fall asleep to comedy movies at night because I need something to drown out the traumatic fucking nightmares that I'm about to have. But tomorrow is Yoga Hosers at 7 p.m. I'm pretty sure I most definitely will be Putting up a review on Yoga Hosers, um, and I'm very excited for that, and I cannot wait for more Kevin Smith, uh, just anything. Kevin Smith is my favorite director, so let's let's just get more out there. I love Tusk. Can't wait to see Yoga Hosers. Yoga Hosers is tomorrow. Uh, those of you who actually listen to this Spreaker podcast, uh, I want to thank you so much, and I'm going to think of an actual name for the podcast because this is a whole new uh, podcast show. So, in 15 minutes, it's pretty much down to the wire. And I thank you, uh, the one, two, or maybe zero viewers out there uh, that actually decided to listen to this. But guess what? It's still online for you to enjoy it another time. Uh, just 
please check it out. Uh, check out Real Film Hour on Twitch.tv on Wednesday night. We'll probably be up at 2 o'clock in the morning. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Monday.